Hey, it's Brandon from Quintelli. In this video, I'm going to show you the three steps of the manual review process. I'm going to talk about what each step is, why we need to do it, and also how you can do it. So to begin from anywhere on your Cointelli uh, profile, click on step three, review. Then scroll down to the bottom and click fix next to the manual review box. From in here, we have our three steps. We'll start with step one, matching internals. This is where you have your transfers between your wallets and your exchanges. Even though they're non-taxable events, you still need to import them and categorize them. So um, because sometimes the exchanges do not, give us, do not give us enough information in order to categorize it properly, that's why we have this manual review step. So as you can see here from this transaction, we have the, the software will automatically match it up based on what it thinks is a match. So what you can do is just go and look at it and see if there's a match. So from here on June 20th, 2021, at around, uh, what is that, 2240, we have 0.01 Litecoin coming out of Exodus. And around the same time, a few minutes later, it comes into crypto.com. As you can see, that's a match. And if it is a match, then you click match. And you just go through each one, one by one like this. Now we have this great feature called auto match. If you have a very simple transaction list, then this is the one for you. If it's more complicated, then we recommend going through it and looking at it one by one. So let's go ahead and let's try clicking auto match. We can confirm that and then it will go ahead and match it. If it's very low transactions, like I have only five, it should only take a few seconds to a minute. But for more complicated or rather a larger transaction quantity, of course, it can take a little bit more time, maybe a few minutes. So that's done. Again, the reason why we need to do this is because sometimes the exchanges and the blockchains will not give out enough information for us to categorize, whether it's a, you know, a gift or an internal transfer. So what'll happen is Cointelli will categorize the outgoing transactions as selling events and the internal um, incoming transactions as uh, buying events. And so this will lead to much higher capital gains, very inaccurate capital gains. So that's why we have this great feature, which will ensure you have a much more accurate report. In the next video, we're gonna look at how to add the missing transactions. Stay tuned.